Hi everyone. Uh, this is a short video to explain, uh, just do a quick walkthrough of Tinkercad. Uh, this is meant to be seen, um, you know, when you're just getting started with Tinkercad, you've never used it before, and this is your first time. So let's see how we can build a very simple design. Now, what you see on your screen is my view. I'm a teacher, so I'm seeing a teacher view. And I have created a class called the demo class. And in the demo class, I have activities. I've created two activities. The first one is write your name. And the third, second one is build a 3D name tag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on write your name activity and say, create new design. It gives me option of creating 3D design circuit or code blocks. I'm gonna click on 3D design and it now shows me the work plane on which I will build my design. Now, there are a few things to keep in mind here to see how we uh, go about doing things. So here I can, um, uh, first of all, I'll rename it. It gives me some random names. I'm gonna rename it to my name. And then a few things to sort of keep in mind here is this is your workplace. This is where you'll be building stuff. Now you can move around this. You can do all these things uh, with the right click of your mouse or by clicking on this top with the left click of your mouse. So you can do all that. Now, if you sort of, if this is all weird and you don't know, oh, well, I don't know how to get back to my original view. You can click on the home button and it will bring down the, the view like this. The other thing you can do is you can zoom in or zoom out, right? So you can do that as well. And you can also change the view to sort of perspective view, uh, flat view. So you can do those things. The other thing you can do is you can go to a view which is sort of a block, a more Minecraft type view. Uh, you can click on these and sort of see those. When you add them, you'll see them. Or you can also do more Lego style, style blocks. So you can do these two. So, but we'll stick to our original view. Now, uh, the other thing that you can do is I can uh, uh, cut and paste and delete and redo and undo. So these are all those buttons here. But here, what I'm gonna do is, so here, this is my work plane. I can also use ruler, which it'll show when I'm sort of doing that if I want to measure things. And I can also add comments, but I'm gonna just click on this. And then here, by default, it shows me basic shapes. There's a lot of different kinds of shapes that you can do, but I'm gonna just stick with basic shapes. And since I wanna write my name, I'm gonna click on text. Now, you can write your name with individual uh, letters or you can use text. Uh, text is easier, let's just use that. So I'm gonna bring this here, very simple. So I just dragged it on my work plane and here, the default is red color. Now keep in mind, no matter what color you choose here, if you're 3D printing this, uh, it is going to be whatever color uh, you have uh, in the in the 3D printer. So the colors won't matter. Only it would show you whatever color you pick here. But 3D print will come up to be you know if you have white, red. Uh, green, uh, whatever color you have in the 3D printer. So uh, anyways, I'm just gonna pick a random color here and then uh, change my name. So I'm gonna say uh, Wise Computing uh, like that. And then I can increase or decrease the height. Now keep in mind, uh, you wanna keep it a little bit flat. Uh, also, if you 3D print this, the more the height is, the longer it's gonna to take to 3D print because it's actually doing more printing. So I'm just gonna keep it relatively flat. And now I wanna make it smaller. See how my name is sort of going beyond the work planes. So I'm gonna click here and then I can do this. I can sort of bring it down here and then I can move. I'm just clicking on my uh, left mouse button and doing that so I can sort of do this and here. So if you want, I can just sort of move it in the middle. A little bit bigger. Yeah. And that's really it. That's a very easy way to write your name. I've written wise computing. Uh, you should write your name. And 
If you want to delete something, you can click on this and you can delete this. You can also copy this. You can redo and undo just like you do with other things. So that's really it.